Hello and welcome to Sav Exclusive. I am your host, Natasha. On this particular episode, I'll be speaking with a beautiful woman. I call her beautiful because she is indeed beautiful. She is the CEO of Itofad Fashion House. She's also a fashion retailer and into the jewelry business. She is Mrs. Joy Itohan Oko. Do stay with us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey there. Are you looking to record your videos? Do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures? Look no further. With our state-of-the-art newsroom, photography, kitchen for our food content creators, and exclusive children's studio, we certainly can deliver the best studio experience. Our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life. We aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment. Welcome back. So, Mrs. Itohan Joy Oko, a woman of many hearts you are. You are a mother to four, lo four lovely children. You know, and then you're a pastor, and then you're into fashion retailing, you're a you're fashion designer, you're into the jewelry <laughs> business. <laughs> and you do all of that, and yet you still find time to look this fabulous. <laughs> okay, Master, thank you so much for being here today, and I know this conversation will be absolutely amazing. So, your fashion journey, you have been into f the fashion business for over 23 years. Yeah. Let, let's go right from the very beginning, actually. How, how did this whole Ito Fat Fashion House come about? How did it start? Okay, thank you. Uh, it all started 23 years ago. And uh, after my journey of learning, and I opened my shop. Actually, it didn't start from Portacot. The fashion journey started from Lagos. But I came to Port Harcourt and uh, I continued the journey. Somehow, when I wanted to register my business and I discovered that the name I wanted to register with was uh, already registered by somebody else. So that was how Itofad came about. And and the initial one you said to me it backstage was, was favor favor oh, fashion. fashion yeah. Sangor, you even changed it because I do prefer this Ito fat. Okay. I think it's um absolutely amazing. And you said it's an acronym for your first my three kids. children. Yes, my three kids. That's really lovely. So twenty three years ago, twenty three years now. How has it been for you? Because I know that the fashion um industry is really quite dynamic. Yeah. So how have you been able to evolve with the times? to still stay relevant as a fashion designer? Okay, like I said, number one is God. God has It been, has to be God. <laughs> God has been at the center of it all. And also the, the drive and the passion for fashion. It has give me, kept me going for the business. It, it, it's, it's such a beautiful thing to hear the passion and drive has kept you um, going, even with a, a, a lot of young people cropping up now, fashion yeah. houses left, right, center, and all of that. Um, but one thing stands, up, stands out about you. you, you have a clientele reach of different ages. How are you able to cater to all of them? How do I answer this now? And it, um... I just fit in, uh, try to meet everybody needs. Nobody is left out. Mm. I try to meet every, as in different clients with their choices. I, I fit in. You just so fluid. To, yes, to, to give everybody as in their class. What they need. What they mm. need. I, I, I try to, to, to go with uh, the, the level each and everybody can really flow. So it, it it makes it easy. Nobody is is discriminated. You are not left out because yes. you know you're younger, you're yes, older. So you're so 
And and it's it's beautiful that you're into this business because and here you're based in Port Harcourt. Yeah. You know, um, most of the time when when here in Nigeria when we speak about fashion, a lot of people typically just think Lagos. Lagos yeah. But you are doing so well here in Port Harcourt. How would you say the reception has been? You know, what what's the fashion the fashion um 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 the fashion how do I put it the fashion reception here in Port Harcourt? What 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 would you say it's like? Well. Um, is unique here in Port Harcourt. And in Port Harcourt, we have our own style. We have our uniqueness. And it's different from Lagos. Because Lagos has their uniqueness. And the Port Harcourt, what we make here in Port Harcourt, <laughs> Lagos cannot make it. Blow because, our trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> because we have our uniqueness. So in Port Harcourt, like, we, are, we, are fash we have fashion sense. We, we, we know how to blend. And uh, uh, with the timing, uh, uh, with the timing we are in the season of fashion, we, we know what is trendy. So it's, it's, it's really beautiful here in Port Harcourt. And, and just to say, because she said we already have a really good fashion sense, yeah. I'm wearing one of it offered fashion how <laughs> couture it is so beautiful as you can see and i'm loving being in this dress i might just cop it after the interview <laughs> okay ma so you you are actually also into jewelry business and then the fashion retail tell us about that okay the jewelry you know uh i like i specialize more in female that's anything lady mm -hmm. um a lady dressing without a jewelry is not complete so I, I make it easy. So when you come in, you are fully dressed after your, your, your clothing and the jewelry. So you are complete. From head to toe. From head to toe. So it makes it easy for me and my customers. Mm. Venturing into business, if I remember your story correctly, um, after secondary school, that yes. was when you, know, you went to learn a skill, yes. fashion, yes. for over two years, yes. and then you came back to Port Harcourt, and then you started Eat Off at Fashion House. Um, there is this thing where, um, right now, a lot of parents want their kids to go to, you know, the generic thing of you go to primary school, secondary school, and you go to college or university, yes. as we call it here. And um, the, the, okay, it's just now people are like, oh, you know, still learn a skill, but parents still want their kids to go to school first, yeah. university first, before, let's think about the skill later. Yes. What, what do you have to say about that? Because you have to go for the skill. Yeah. Uh, presently, what we are facing now, uh, getting a skill is very important because some persons after schooling, getting the job is difficult. Now, when you have a skill, you can you can keep yourself busy before your dream your dream job comes up comes up true so it, it makes you not to be bored and like what we are seeing this day you see so many lady going going into what they didn't plan for they didn't bargain for likewise guys why because there is nothing to keep them busy so if for adventure back then. Uh, uh, writing jam was like it was really tough. Was tough of mm -hmm. all. So, but now you see children. The minute they finish school, they are engaged in learning one skill or the other. It makes their brain keep working. It makes them keep as in they are busy. They are not idle. So, if you even in school, you can still learn. You can skill still be doing your skill mm -hmm. within your friends, mm -hmm. and you are making money. Mm -hmm. It makes you better than the person that don't have any skill any at all. Skill at all. So. But, 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 you know, there is this saying that going to, the, going to like a university, you're there to learn. Yeah. Learn. And when you are done, you come out and then you do business. You know, yet some people are saying, oh, you can still put two and two together, put your, your skill on the side and still, you know, do school full time. But it can be quite dicey. So is, is that really a necessary thing a lot of youth should be focused on right now? You know, go to school and at the same time um, be working on, um, with your skill. Shouldn't they like focus on a thing first and then one thing at a time? Uh, well, like I said earlier, with the society, the, 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 even with the economy, uh, with the economy, with what is going on now, I tell you, certificate. 
cannot only get you 100% of what you are looking for. Because even the, in the industry, those that are into skis and have, as in you, 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 are, you are helping the society. So it's just the thing of the mind. Because we are wired to do multipurpose. So getting a skill won't distract any child. But sometimes it does, Ma. Yeah, but because... You know? Uh, because they, they still haven't learned how to, like, balance it. Yes, like I said, we have all it takes. It's just individual. Because if you program yourself towards it, you can really do it. Like now. Okay, take, for example, the strike with Anna. Oh, yes. It's, it's five months. months. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. School closed since um, some schools before December and we, we, we promised to, to resume by February and up to now. So if we have a child that is in school and for seven months, eight months, is not doing anything, that's disaster. Because if the child is not busy using the brain for something positive, something must happen. The negative will come in. So it is, it, the child can do it. Mm. Yes. Okay. Or she can do it. Yeah, so so absolutely, you will you will encourage one of your kids to you know school and do your skill at the same time. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm sure you're already getting um, riled up and excited about this whole conversation. But do stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Dear Nigerians. <laughs> get on a PDC. Together, we can take back our country. Now, Nisi. Mama. Yes. Now. This message is proudly brought to you by Thav Media Limited. Welcome back. So, um, before we went on a short break, um, I was asking you if you would allow any of your children. Um, you know, so one of your kids is an engineer. That's a pretty tasking job, um, course, um, at the same time. So, would you encourage him? you know, to still, you know, let's say he, 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 he has a digital marketing skill. So he's doing that and also doing the engineering at the same time. Would you encourage him to do stuff like that? Uh, yes, like I still say. What if one <laughs> suffers? <laughs> uh, it's the thing of the mind. Like I said earlier, it's the thing of the mind. Uh, we are wired multiple. That's it. We can do uh, different things at the same, at the same time. time. But it all depends on individual. If the passion is there, you can go with it. But if it's not there, you can't force it. Okay, just um, you know, a quick question. There, there has been this thing that has been going on, this rhetoric, this way of thinking, that almost everybody should become an entrepreneur. Everybody should get a business. Everybody should do a business. It's almost like people are ridiculing those that are doing their nine-to-five jobs. So is, is, is it, they, they begin to make it look like being an entrepreneur makes you quite superior to the one who's a nine to fiver. But at the end of the day, we both know that if everybody's the owner of their businesses, who is going to help you do what you have to do to make your business grow? So what, what do you have to say about that? Do you believe that some people are wired to be entrepreneurs and some people are just wired to help support the forerunners of businesses to grow their businesses? Okay, but I still stand my ground. I, I said it because of the, the generation we are now. Because of what is going on, you need to have a skill. Now, you can learn a skill, you can have a, an idea. Even if you are, you are not using it to work, if a situation drifts, you know that you are not just empty, empty without. You can always, because of what we are seeing now, there, uh, there's no job out there. But at the same time, the job is there. But it's not enough. So, so every, so every seeker, every yes. job seeker. Okay, I still fall back on the strike now. Now, uh, the skill is not 100% ultimate. But for a child now, that now we are in strike, you can, you can fix that child on the skill that this child wants to. Everybody have what they have passion for. There is nobody that, is, that you say does not think as in that child must have passion 
for something outside the school. So you find out what your child has passionate passion about. And then you fix the child in, and you have a better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll just backpedal you a bit. Um, it's a fat fashion house. Uh, with the way the economy is, one thing that a lot of people have experienced is a downturn in their business, especially post-COVID. Yeah. A lot of businesses closed down, yeah. even though a lot of businesses sprung up. But how have you been able to manage it? Economic recession, monies are not there as much, and um, purchasing power is even at an all-time low. How are you able to manage your business? Well, um... How do I put this answer now? <laughs> uh, like I said, when you have passion for something, of course, challenges will come. Challenges will come, but the passion in you and the drive in you will not allow the challenge weigh you down. You will always see yourself ahead of it. So to me, the passion and the drive for my business has kept me going. Even during the COVID. During the COVID, it really affected fashion home because it was all sit at home. No party, no church. No wedding. No crying, <laughs> no uh, celebration because if it's barrier, you are wearing a good cloth at the same time you are crying. <laughs> if it's wedding, you are celebrating and all that. So it affects fashion homes, but still at that, those that have the passion and the drive knew that it would pass. It was just for a season, a season. A period. And today we are here. It has passed. That, that is so interesting to hear about passion and drive because I know that those are like key ingredients people need yeah. um, to be able to thrive in life. But something still, um, with, with passion and drive, some business still haven't been able to recover. And some business are really struggling. I read on Twitter um, a few days ago, a young individual here in Potako talked about how his business has been stagnant since this year began. And then you, you be, and, and he doesn't know where to go from here. So you begin to wonder, is passion and drive really enough to keep one at it, even when you almost seem to not be able to eat because inflation? Okay. Like uh, you asked a question earlier. Now, um, number one, business is not for lazy people. That's a bit harsh, but yes. okay. <laughs> yes, because you have to keep thinking. You have to flow with the time. You have to flow with the season. What's going on? What's on? Like now, fashion is broad. Okay, there are some surprises that just is just sewing, sewing, sewing. But there, are, there is more to it. Now, you 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 are you are you, you need to find that that area that the area of your business. There are other things that can that can make it stand better. Like now you ask me jewelries. That is, if you are not making clothes, you are selling the clothes. If you are not selling the clothes, you are selling jewelries. There is no way the the, the whole three or four of them will will be standing at, at the same, same time. time. So you don't you don't just focus on. So find out the area you are dealing and other things that are connected to it and fix them in. And somehow you, you, you will not be caught one up. Thing yes. will work. You will not be stagnant. You, you see yourself mm. flowing and everything is going on. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that, what you just said now brings me to the concept of hustling. Mm -hmm. Because when you say that, um, you know, think about other aspects of your business that you can be able to use as, you know, as a leveraging path up until the other part that is your primary source um, gets stabilized and all that. Um, this concept of hustling with our young, young folks out there, some people are doing cake today, they're into the fashion tomorrow, they're into, what do you have to say about that? Shouldn't we be focused and, and working consistently toward that one thing that is our business, that is our idea, that is our project. You know, do we have to start hustling up around and looking for every other thing that we can use to help ourselves? And No, no you don't have to. Like what I said, jewelry and clothing is the same thing. There is no way a woman would dress without jewelry. Without jewelry. And you need the cloth to make the dress. Now, bringing cake 
into clothes. <laughs> you need to eat the cake. That's the husband part you're talking about now. Now, if you are a, if you are talking about the cake, things that cake, baking, uh, make, I see something in that area. In because that I can thing. sit in my business. Somebody come, you purchase cloth. I'm sitting down there. You purchase cloth inside there. I'm sewing it, the sew, and you dress up with the dress. That is, let the whole thing be on the same line. Not that you are seen in different, no, no, no. You'll be distracted. But find out your area, things that goes with it, the same thing. You've just been in your business and you are thriving. What, what, has, what would you say has sustained you so far? over 23 years, and I'm sure more years are coming, you know, for you, but what would you say has been that key ingredient for you that has sustained you so far in your business? Consistency. I'll be consistent. Whether it's working or not working, I'll be consistent because I know inside me that I'm on the right path. How do you know you're on the right path? Yes, because I, I know that the reason I ask that, not to query you, but the reason I ask that is because a whole lot of young people out there, they're, not, they're never really truly setting about the path that they've chosen. So they're never really setting, is this what I'm, okay, maybe I should try this, maybe. So that's why I ask, how do you really know? Uh, because I'm, I enjoy what I do. Now, uh, to some persons, it's stressful. But to me, I don't see the stress. I just enjoy what I'm doing. So because I'm enjoying it, I'm consistent. I'm not seeing Even when it's not making money. Yeah, yes, I'm just enjoying it because business is not one dating. You need to pass through the challenge. You need to pass through the, 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 the turbulence and before you stand. Any good business you see today, if you go deep down, challenges came. And those challenges are the things that will build you in that business to know how to stand. Mm. Very insightful challenges and being built. So just so that we round up, um, there are a lot of young people out here, even such as myself, learning from you, who are on their journey. I call it a journey because it's a process um, to discovering more and being more and broadening their capacity and their works and their projects and ideas and their businesses. What advice would you give to them? What, what one advice or two, if you may, would you give to them um, um, to keep on in the journey? Okay, like I said, everyone have what they have passion for. And now, check, it has to be a positive passion. <laughs> True. It has to be positive. Uh -huh. When you check inside of you, what is that thing that you enjoy doing that is positive? That's be positive. Just go for it. And when you go for it, you need to be consistent. Working or not working, be consistent. You will see light at the end of the day. Thank you so much, Mrs. Welcome. Itohan. I absolutely enjoyed having this conversation you so with you. So I hope that you have learned a thing or two. Remember, stay consistent with that thing that you're passionate about, and eventually you will succeed at it. Meanwhile, this lovely apparel I'm wearing here, looking all amazing on your screen, is made by Itofan Fashion House. You absolutely want to check them out on all social media platforms and be able to cop yourself a dress like this one because it's absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to get this at the end of the interview. But yes, this is Tav Exclusive and this is Tav TV. I remain Natasha. Bye for now.